how many tries did Clive have to hand in in those 29, mate, the, the legendary Clive Churchill? Well, it's, it's, it's something that Jack said to me one day about the fact that he said, you're uh, not lucky, but he said, it's good that Jack runs away from you because you know, Clive was left-handed. And he, when he ran, most times he ran left. And drawing, he was drawing the defence away. And then I was on, I was left in the on the on the right wing, with basically a, you know, a minimum amount of people in front of me. Nice. And uh, that was it. So when 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 you when the ball got out fast, I mean he was he was quite adept to even kicking the ball. He remember in the old days they used to have the forwards surround the, the fullback so he couldn't run. He was the first running fullback and he kicked it over the top to us. Appreciate you for that comment, mate. What about the Clive Churchill Medal named after one of your teammates? Can you tell us something about Clive that we wouldn't know, mate? Because uh, we've only read stories about him, and my father was old enough to go out and sure. um, watch him, and he was his hero. He's my dad's hero. He said he'd never seen a, a guy that size snap people on half defensively. Well, in one word, a genius. Honestly, he was on the football field. He was a winger, a winger that was was a bit worried because you never knew what Clive was going to do next. Honestly, he. He, as you know, he was a running fullback. That little kick over the top of the forwards and run through, pick it up himself and keep running. Uh, when he started running, you never knew where he was going to go left or right on the field. And you always never knew when, when you're standing out there looking at what was going on on the other side of the field when, when you're going to get the football kicked to you. And you had to be, be prepared to take it and go. And then let that win. But on, on the football field, I mean, it might, uh, the, day, the day that I stand and was amazed was the day he used the goalposts to beat the forwards. It was running, the, the running, running, around, running out with the ball. And when the forwards, when, when the tackle was coming to get him, he put his hand around the goalpost and swung himself off it and then went, changed direction at 45 degrees and went away. And I think <laughs> Ian, wow. and Ian scored down the other end of the line, at the other end of the, line, uh, the, other end of the field, if I remember rightly. Wow. Yeah. Oh no, he, he, he made you at times. He made you to sit back and wonder, you know. And think, but only only no hide or grass of her, as you know. Yeah. He, he I've, I've day, only I've only seen footage of him uh, myself, and uh, he he looked to me that he was a very well balanced runner. Um, yeah. And it was you know, fast. Like you, sorry. Very fast. Very fast. Yeah. It's surprising. You you would not know he had a change of pace. He starts lopping towards you, and suddenly, bang! He clap it on, and he's gone. And they said he had the ability to go to go past forwards. He would, would have killed him if they'd have got him. But uh, you know, I was to, to bluntly, it was a pleasure to play with him. Honestly, 